So we'll go through how to seal this joint up. So first of all, you get some bond and seal in between the insulation and the pipework. It's really important because this is like making a welded joint. So get it in one side, loads, and then on the other side, get it in between the insulation and the pipework. So get loads all around there. As you can see, I'm just moving it around here. And then we're going to put loads onto the pipework and onto the two areas either side on the insulation. And this is to get loads on. Doesn't matter if you've just got a bit over there, we can take that off. But get loads on, please, as much. We're telling people one tube to three lengths of 28 mil because you need to make like a welded joint. So we'll get plenty on. Once we get plenty on, you then push them together and, and just twist it a little bit. And then what you're doing is you're not squeezing them all together. You're just pushing it on so it oozes out like that. You can see it there. It's just oozing out. Come a, a bit more on one side and a bit less on the other. doesn't matter. And then what you're doing is capping. So now we're capping it and going all the way around. If you run out or you've put that bit there, just take it off. Don't worry about it. So go around and just cap. If you need some more, just get some more on. It's easy to just apply. So just apply it just like this all the way around there. And then all you'll do is then just carry on capping. So that's then made like a welded joint inside from inside onto the pipework, onto the insulation outside and then capped it. And that's perfect. And that in the winter, it'll be 24 hours to actually cure. In the summer, it takes a bit longer. 28 to 48 hours that's a joint so the first part with bond and seal is if it's in the summertime you've left it in the van or it's in hot weather you might need to cool it down because it could have gone a little bit runny so chuck it into a bucket of cold water for 10 minutes now on the other hand it could be really really cold day or in the winter time and it's cold you might have to warm it up exactly the same into a bucket of warm water, that's perfect, and then it's ready to use.